I mean, early on in our keto, I know motivation, you know, that was, I mean, it seems like we did that forever. Such an important exercise. And I can remember Anita Yoshio saying that that is teaching you the principles of swordsmanship, understanding the difference between the normal thing and, and the full run. So there's certainly a great value. And absolutely relevant to Shihonage in particular. Now, <clears throat> discussing Shihonage, a number of years ago, and I'm not sure exactly when, so I'm going to think 15 or 20 years ago, there was a uh, Sensei uh, Yamada and Sensei Shiba <coughs> modified a couple of things, in particular, uh, half tenkai. I say half tenkai, you know what I mean? Okay, and obviously there's such, it's relaxed. Right? Anybody please sit relaxed, don't screen yourself. Uh, obviously, obviously a distinction there. And there was a discussion, in fact I have it on uh, film of uh, Chiba Sensei, when he was talking about just an alternative way of doing Ura Shihonage, so as not to compromise your footwork or to leave you open to a foot sweep. Now, I don't know, and in seeing Aikido around, I don't know that much attention has been paid to that, but it's worth knowing and it's worth being aware of. And it also gives you an alternative way to move. Okay? So, say if we take Kitapu Kari Rasmahami Shihonage, Ura, normally, you know, we would enter. Here, take the movement and from here. Okay. Again, it's not rocket science here. It's an ura. Here, pivot here and here and that. Okay. And at one point, Chiba was citing Osensei as cautioning them that at one point that your front foot might be at peril against a very strong judoka who understood foot switch when you were standing beside them. Okay, so, in other words, here, if I uh, enter here, this foot then would become susceptible, perhaps. Okay, if you do your shihonagi right, you hit it right, and everything, probably not, but you still have to be aware of the possibility. So, <clears throat> actually, in remedying that possibility, you enter tentai, but I found that when you enter tentai, you put yourself in a much superior position to do the shihonage. It gives you an extra uh, advantage in shigaku or your entering position. Here's what I mean. So if I'm here and I enter tentai here, now when I turn, I'm already back here. It's a much more penetrating entering. And also you don't expose the front foot. So here, and to, now when I start, I'm back here. Tata. Okay, please try. Okay. 